Welcome to the Nora Eccles Harrison Museum of Art. Our nickname is Nima. Our museum has a collection of over 5,000 artworks made by artists living in the Western United States, just like we do. At our museum, you can see paintings, sculptures, drawings, photographs, ceramics, and more. Our museum was founded by a woman named Nora Eccles Harrison, who liked to be called Noni. She loved to collect artwork. Think about what you like to collect. The artwork we will look at today is from our newest exhibition called Unearth. Everything you will see is made out of the same material. It's not markers, paints, or paper. It is clay. Artworks made of clay are called ceramics. Some of these ceramics were made or collected by Nora, and some have come to the museum in different ways. Here, you can see some of Nora's own artwork. The artwork in this exhibition shows us that clay can be used to make many different things. This piece is called Standing Woman. It was created by Nora's friend, Viola Fry. Viola Fry worked with clay and paint. She also taught others how to make art. This ceramic sculpture is eight feet tall. To change clay from soft and squishy to hard and durable, it must be baked or fired in a special oven called a kiln. Because this artwork is so big, it couldn't fit into a kiln. Viola Fry cut it into sections and fired each section one by one. Then, she used tools to put them back together like a giant puzzle. This piece is exciting to look at because of its large size, bright colors, and bumpy texture. What colors do you spy on Standing Woman? These plates, bowls, and pots were made by artist Maria Martinez. She was one of the most important Native American potters in the world. Maria learned how to make things out of clay from her aunt and grandma, and quickly became well known for her talent. Maria invented her own technique for making the shiny black pottery. To make her artworks, Maria would roll long snake shapes out of red clay. These snake shapes are called coils. Coils get wrapped and rolled together to make the shape of the plate, bowl, or pot. Instead of being fired in a kiln, Maria's pottery was baked in an actual fire. She would trap the smoke from the fire using ashes and cow manure. The smoke from the fire would turn the clay black. Maria's artworks have many different designs painted onto them. Can you spot the deer painted onto one of her plates? Is this a rock or a piece of art? It's not a rock. Artist John Mason created this interesting artwork out of clay. When something made of clay is useful, like a plate for eating or a vase for holding flowers, it is called functional. When something made of clay is not useful, like a sculpture, it is called non-functional. Instead of making functional things like pots and bowls, John Mason likes to experiment with all the different shapes and textures he could make with clay. For this sculpture, he added different materials to the clay to create a rough texture. One thing he added to the clay is grog, which is crushed up pottery. He also added a crushed up mineral called quartz. If you look closely at this artwork, you can see all of the different lumps, bumps, textures, and shapes that John Mason made as he created this piece of artwork. This artwork was made by artist Vaughn Allen. It is called Spiral. Do you see the spiral on the artwork? This is an example of abstract art. Abstract means that the artwork doesn't look like anything realistic. Maybe this artwork reminds you of something, or maybe you just like to look at the colors and shapes Vaughn Allen created. This artwork isn't shiny like some of the others we've seen. It is matte, which means the surface is dull. 
Von Allen used a special type of glaze on this artwork. Glaze is the paint that goes onto clay artworks to give it color. On Spiral, we see green, orange, and black matte glaze. Think about what colors you would love to use on an artwork. Would you like it to be shiny or matte? This is a piece by artist David Furman called A Hard Day's Work. Can you believe that this is actually made out of clay? David Furman carefully shaped this toolbox out of clay, then used different colored glazes to create a very realistic looking artwork. When an artwork is very realistic like this, we call it trompe l'oeil. Trompe l'oeil is a word in French that means trick the eye. This artwork tricks our eyes into thinking it is really a toolbox. It is amazing to see how clay can be used to make something that looks like wood and metal. Thank you so much for joining me on a tour of the ceramics in the Nora Eccles Harrison Museum of Art. Together, we saw that artworks made of clay can be shiny or matte, functional or non-functional, realistic or abstract we discovered interesting pieces that are tremendously tall, very rough and bumpy, wonderfully shiny, and extremely colorful. Which artwork was your favorite? What would you make out of clay?